Hey, good evening everybody. Dan here, Ultimate Boston Red Sox Collector page on Facebook and Red Sox Collector Dan McGraw on YouTube. A um, couple of things to show today. Been a quiet week for mail. Um, budget's a little strained after making that purchase of the Danbury Mint Red Sox figurine, so I've been able to stay pretty... Uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Can't even think of it. Pretty uh, pretty disciplined this week, um, making only small purchases online. Um, and, uh, you know, probably going to hit, I might try to hit the flea market uh, out of town this weekend on Sunday, possibly just to check out what they have. Uh, we'll see about doing that. I've heard they have a lot of good sports collectibles down there, so I'm going to probably try to check that out. So today's video is going to be just the two items that I've gotten in the mail over the past couple of days. Uh, the first one I'm going to start with is something that I was even surprised that I didn't have, but when I did my want list uh, for 2004, I realized that I never picked this set up. This is the 2004 uh, World Series commemorative gift set. Uh, this came sealed in the box. Um, I opened it. I put them in binders and in my binders with the rest of my 2004 cards. Um, because that's what I like to do. Uh, there's plenty of these around. If I want to buy another one sealed someday and keep it sealed, I certainly can do that. It's a 55 card set and it comes with a jumbo size card as well, which I still have out because that'll go in my jumbo card binder. I actually think I have this card already. Uh, that comes in a nice little brown envelope, manila envelope inside the box. Um, and it actually comes, I was kind of surprised, I put them in order and I actually had five duplicate cards as well. Um, I was kind of surprised about that. I thought it was just a complete set. So there were five duplicates. I don't know if they normally do that. I didn't even read the box to see if they give you five extra cards. But uh, that was kind of cool to get five extras. Just throw them in with my duplicates. Um, so that was actually cheap. There's a lot of them on eBay right now. I looked for the cheapest one I could find. And um, I got it as a buy it now. Uh, I paid around ten dollars shipped for that whole set, so that's not too too bad. So I was happy with that purchase. And then my other item that came in today is another new autographed baseball for the collection. This is a guy I actually thought I had already, but once I actually did my list and got my spreadsheet together, I realized I did not have him. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, uh, most notably one of the last two or three that I've done um, with my through the mail requests that I've kind of started to do. Um, you'll, if you did watch that video, and I did have several comments on this, uh, I received a TTM back in the mail where the player signed the, <laughs> the penny sleeve instead of the card, and so I have to try to send to him again. So when I realized I didn't have his autographed baseball, I went ahead and got it, and uh, it's Mr. Bernie Carbo. Um, a lesser-known hero of Game 6 of the 1975 World Series. He hit a home run late in the game to tie the game, uh, which set up the dramatics for Carlton Fisk to win it in extra innings. But uh, it's an older ball. It's got a little bit of toning to it on the top. You can see a little bit there, a little bit of the spotting. It's an official American League Baseball, um, so we know it's a little bit older, probably from the 80s or 90s, um, because most people... Are getting official major league balls signed so another nice autographed baseball for the collection of a nice um, 70s red sox player and i'm going to attempt him through the mail again because i definitely want to uh, get a through the mail card still got a couple that i've got out there and i'm going to try to send out another two to three tomorrow and um, i haven't sent any out since my initial um, push that i did and hopefully I'll be able to get out a few more tomorrow. I've been kind of slacking on that this week. Uh, but uh, just kind of a quiet couple of days of mail. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. I've been reaching out to a lot of YouTubers, watching their videos and subscribing to their pages. I basically watch some of the YouTube videos that I already, you know, already am subscribed to. And I look at some of the people that are making comments on their videos. And I reach out to those people, watch some of their videos. And it's been working. So I'm up to 80 now. So I've made a nice jump. Um, over the past week, I've added about, uh, it's, I'd say, 12 to 14 new subscribers. So I'm happy with that. I'm getting some nice comments from those people, too. So thank you, everybody, for continuing to support my page. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, keep it under five minutes tonight. So thank you for watching, everybody, and everybody take care.